Here's another example. We're told to find the area of the figure shown. There's a lot of ways we could do this. I'll just talk about some of them briefly. I could draw a line right here and split this up into three pieces. This rectangle up here and that one up there and the big one at the bottom and add those three up and that would be fine. I could also split it right here and here and I get three rectangles like that and I could calculate the area of each one and add them up. That would be valid. Um, if I wanted to, I could split it right there and there and add up those th three rectangles. There's a variety of ways that I can do it. But I want to take a second and think of what might be the easiest way. And it might be easiest just to draw a line right here and then imagine this entire rectangle with this piece taken out. Then what's left is this area here that I'm looking for. And I think that will be the easiest approach because that will involve the fewest calculations. So let's do that. Let's draw this line and, and think about this large rectangle. It has a width of 6 and a length of 10. And I can do that in my head. That's 60. And that's going to be 60 square meters. And then let's take out this chunk right here. And you can see that's 3 meters by 3 meters. That's a square. And so the area there will be 9 square meters. So 60 square meters minus 9 square meters. And I can do that in my head. I get 51 square meters. And here's a practical example. You're buying tiles to tile your kitchen floor, which is shown in the diagram. So your kitchen isn't rectangular. It's this odd shaped figure. It looks something like a big fat L. The tiles cost $7.60 per square foot. How much will the tiles for the project cost? Well, we need to find the total number of square feet in the kitchen to do this. So I'm going to draw a little line here. And I'm going to look at this rectangle over here on the left. It's 8 by 14. So I need to multiply that. Um, I'll do that right here. 14 times 8. 8 times 4 is 32. And 8 times 1 is 8. Plus 3 is 11. So this rectangle is 112 square feet. And then this one's pretty easy, this 4 by 6 rectangle over here. In my head, I know that that's 24 square feet. So the total area of the kitchen floor is 112 plus 24. And I can add those up. 136 square feet. Now, $7.60 is the cost per square foot. So I need to take my 136 square feet and multiply it by 7.60 and I can put a zero here as a placeholder and then do the multiplication. This 6 starting here times that 6 is 36 then 6 times 3 is 18 plus 3 is 21 6 times 1 is 6 and 2 is 8 and then the second row I need two zeros 7 times 6 is 42 and 7 times 3 is 21, and 4 is 25, and 7 times 1 is 7, and 2 is 9. So I add them up. I get 0, 6, 3, 8, and 5 is 13. I get 10, well, 1, 0, 3, 3, 6, 0. And we haven't covered the rules for multiplying with decimals yet. You may know them. There are two decimal places here. So I need two decimal places in my answer. So I put my decimal right here. So that's my number, 1033.60. So this is $1,033.60. And um, if you're not familiar with the rules of multiplying when decimal numbers are involved, don't worry. We're going to cover that in detail in a later chapter. But you should understand this process. Finding the total area. And we did that by dividing the area into two pieces and then adding those two pieces together. And then taking that total area, the number of square feet, times the cost per square foot. So then we multiplied to find the total cost.